Stop me if you heard this one. So this guy walks into a bar. What? Stop? Guy walks into a bar, goes up to the bar, and you know, bartender's doing whatever. He's just, the guy's just dirty from being underground for like 12 hours, and he wants a beer. He's covered with coal dust. He's all black in his little helmet with the light on it and stuff. You know, he just wants a beer. Bartender comes over and, you know, doing something, and he goes, hey, bartender, I'd like a beer. Bartender just looks at him and walks away. What the heck was that? Bartender comes by again. He says, hey, bartender, can I have, can I have a beer? Bartender just turns and looks at him, keeps on going. Guy's getting kind of, you know, upset now. He goes, guy comes by again. Bartender does. He says, hey, uh, excuse me, bartender. I'd like to, I'd like to have, order a beer. Bartender turns to him and looks at him. He says, points at a sign. He says, we don't serve minors. Here we are again, and I am pleased to bring you a beer review. Not just any beer review, a Blockhouse Brewing beer review. Again, this I think this is another one. I did one of their chocolate ones, I think, and I liked it. It was really, really chocolatey. Uh, this is summer break, and there's a looks like a looks like grapefruits and an orange. I don't know, like two different kind of grapefruits and an orange on it and brewed and bottled in Latrobe, PA, Pittsburgh Brewing Company, uh, 5.0, it's like the old Mustang, anywho, we are going to try this, no, I'm just joking, we are going to try it, no, that's it folks, no, we're going to try it, and they have a keyhole, a keyhole, you need a dorky for a keyhole, it's a door. You need a door key. Anyways, oh, I almost dropped it. Lemonade looking stuff. Lemonade. Alright. Looking promising, looking promising. Wow, it smells really fruity. Let me smell it, yeah. Yeah, really grapefruity. Wow. This might just be grapefruit juice. A little kick. I, don't, I never. I, don't, can't, I can't remember the last time I had a grapefruit. I don't even think I ever had a grapefruit. Anyways, we'll give it a try anyway. You know what? It's not bad. Really, just intense citrus flavor. I mean, if if you had a. Uh, I don't know what them twisted teas or whatever, you know, one of them ones with lime in it or something. This would be really good on a hot day. After mowing like 60 acres with a push mower. Oh yeah. If you could, but that's pretty good. You know where they got the acre from? I think I think it was uh, the amount of time. It would take a mule, one mule, to plow in eight hours. I guess that's one acre. That's what I hear. I don't know what the dimensions are. I don't know what the dimensions are. I don't know, but that's a, that's a lot of land. But, uh, this is not bad. I think, I don't, I don't think Spot's going to like this one. I give it a six, but... I wouldn't drink it every day. It's okay, maybe once a month, you know, be all right in the summertime. But no, I couldn't drink it every day. Uh, would I buy it again? Probably not. No. And that's about it. Blockhouse, you got a good chocolate beer, but this is okay if you like citrusy. If you love grapefruits, that's your drink right there. So. Uh, Cheers.